now we are going to talk a little bit about one-to-one -one invitations. It was highlighted by Beth in the beginning. And one-to-one -one matchmaking, it has been a strategy for friendship that we've often highlighted in our training material over the years. But during the pandemic, we recognize more and more deeply the power of one-to-one -one invitations to relationship. This past year, we have increased our collaboration with North Quabbin Citizen Advocacy. And we are so very grateful for the current and former executive director, Nate Johnson and Tom Duty, for sharing their expertise in hosting matchmaking forums for community and providers over this past year in many training opportunities on matchmaking and the training material that was highlighted as really valued by a provider is the ask invitation to engagement. So we're so thankful to be able to collaborate on those experiences and continue those as we move into this next year. As a result of their experience in these networks that they've created, providers and community organizations are learning more about this approach and building their own matchmaking capacity. Phoebe Goodman will now share example of friendship through matchmaking and speak a bit more about this. I'm just going to say a couple of words um, and then have Rachel share the video. We have um, Allison with us today. And Allison has uh, been a part of Stonehill Best Buddies program for many, many years. And after graduating from Stonehill, maintained her friendship um, with her best buddy. Um, and has a real focus on that. And we've been lucky to have Allison, um, as well as Erin, her colleague um, in the Southeast, uh, join us in those matchmaking forums and have an opportunity to share what they've learned and, and learn from others like Nate and the other community members on the call who are doing this work. So I'm gonna hand it over to Rachel to show the video and then um, over to Allison to share a couple of her thoughts after. My freshman year of college, um, I joined Best Buddies. We got matched up, and um, I think we were matched up because we we're both kind of quiet, and um, we we were able to to get each other in that way. And so we hung out just about every Friday, um, but we didn't just hang out during the Best Buddies hours. Um, we started hanging out afterwards. Um, and we've been friends ever since. It's been almost nine years. Thank you, Abdullah. You like hanging out with me? Yeah. Do selfies. Do selfies. We like doing selfies. There's some good pictures together. Go bowling when you do it. Mm hmm We've been bowling together. Christmas party. Christmas party, yeah. That was fun too. Talk about that. We do talk a lot. How often? We FaceTime. Um, we we love having phone calls. You know, when I'm driving, I'll call Janina up. She will talk for an hour. She'll keep me company. She's really thoughtful. She's really sweet. She always remembers little details. Um, like if it's my dad's knees bothering him or something, she'll ask for months um, how his knee's doing, right? I know I can count on her. All right, if I'm having a bad day, she'll she'll listen to me complain, or uh, she'll make me laugh, or you know, try and give me advice. You're funny. You're funny. I'm funny. Yeah. I think we're funny together. <laughs> I think that's what I like about us. Yeah. We can always have fun, and we're always making jokes. Yeah. You just you make me happy. Like you're a really good person, and um, I can't imagine not being friends with you. Um, you know, I'm five years out of college now and you're the person I talk to the most that I, that I met during college. Um, you know, you know the most about what's going on in my life and, uh, on an everyday basis and you always care and I don't know, I, I just always care about you and we were best buddies and we are great friends. Yeah, 
So I want to invite Allison uh, to unmute and, and share a little bit about her experience. Hi, Phoebe and everybody. Thank you so much for having me a part of this and for having this. It's just been so wonderful. Um, so I've been a part of Best Buddies for a while now um, in high school and college. And um, I was thankful to continue my relationship with Janine. Um, but I now work as a job coach at the House of Possibilities. Um, and as part of that, uh, I've been trying to make it a point to um, make sure that everybody realizes that these friendships can continue through um, past like the four years of college um, or the uh, time in the best buddies meetings themselves. Um, so I'm really trying to promote that from the start, um, being like talking or hanging out, uh, phone calls, FaceTime. I know Janine and I like to FaceTime a lot. Um, we send each other pictures. Um, she doesn't read. So um, just finding whatever ways to communicate is, is really important. Um, especially uh, through the pandemic, everybody's been able to get creative, I think. Um, so, um, but also um, like specifically thinking for our population, uh, like college students can do things like invite their buddies to come watch sports games on campuses uh, or go to their dorm room, um, really just getting creative and uh, thinking of um, when we think of best buddies as friends, just like anybody else, there are just so many more possibilities. Um, I know for me, it was important that Janine and my family meet and um, just as I would any other close friend. And uh, I met, met her family as well and our families actually became friends. And it just, it, there's so much that can happen. Um, and uh, so just in trying to think about a best buddies with a year five, um, and that it, it doesn't end, um, and there's no reason for it to end. Um, those are valuable relationships, and even if it's not with your buddy, it can be with somebody that you met in Best Buddies, um, you know, to continue those. Um, and so one, one thing that we're um, planning to do is a reunion uh, for Best Buddies to reconnect people um, with folks that maybe they don't talk to anymore, but there's no reason they, they, they can't. And um, just hopefully try and keep those uh, friendships uh, going. So thank you. Thank you so much, Allison. I, I think it's so important. Some of the messages that you share from your own experience. I mean, Best Buddies um, is, is way more than a program and the opportunity to create sustainable relationships and really encouraging people to think about that. How do you build this connection, this one-to-one -one match into a relationship that can sustain all times, you know, after college, you know, beyond maybe the group activity and really expand in that. And, and clearly you've demonstrated the benefits that it has in your own life and how much you value that relationship. I would like to give the opportunity to Nate, if you would like to share anything further about some of the matchmaking or the training opportunities that I know um, you've had been facilitating as well. I know I gave a plug, but I'd like you to have the opportunity to, to plug further as well. Yeah, well, I've, I've been grateful to have the opportunity to do the uh, ask, um, presentations with Tom and there continues to be a call for those so be on the lookout for um further ask presentations where we really go into the nuts and bolts of how to how to how to plan how to support the match the best um you can and um really the helps the planning helps the natural nervousness of of making the ask, which which can be awkward for for anyone, and I'm just really in, inspired to hear the um, the different stories that that people have, and I'm grateful to hear the stories that um, to share the stories that NQCA can provide. Like there's uh, one of the most recent matches is a a younger man who um. His mother told me because of the way his um, autism operates and what he focuses on that um, the, um, the, the best way to start the relationship would be 
through video games. So I matched him with a with a local um citizen who's really well known on the local access TV. And they started out by talking about video games, but their their um friendship seems to be quickly blossoming. They that he last time I talked to the advocate in our follow along, he talked about um how they were texting back and forth. And I, I didn't even realize the gentleman uh, with the disability did text. So that was pretty great. And they've already been out to the movies a couple of times. And I, I'm not good with dates, but I, I know we have a we have we have a video coming up at the end of this month uh, with me, Tom, and Andrew Oliver, a guy that um started citizen advocacy in New York City. And hopefully gonna have a bit of a discussion around that. So if people are interested, reach out to me or Katie or Tom to learn more about that. Yes, and that is on June 23rd. So thank you. And um, I believe it is 9.30 in the morning, June 23rd. So if you'd like to learn more friendship lessons from citizen advocacy, which focuses on one-to-one -one matchmaking, um, we'd love for you to tune in and, and learn more from, from these experts um, in matchmaking and building one-to-one -one companionships. A great example, Nate, just how even something such as video games, sometimes that connection can really, if deliberately put into place, cascade and take on a life of its own and build those relationships. So thank you so much for, for sharing. And we are so excited to do more together this year. There's so much possibilities in one-to-one -one matchmaking and supporting relationships.